I get nervous. Sometimes really nervous sitting in the blind. Field 10, do you have a copy? And the dog, he's way less nervous than I am. We need a good score to set the pace. I don't want to go back to the pier empty-handed. I need those points. And I need to beat Bernie, and I need to beat Steining. The Nevada boys, everyone. Last week, we watched as top tournament bird dog hunters from across the United States descended on Traxler's Hunt Club in La Center, Minnesota. Traxler's is host to one of the largest bird dog circuit major championships of the year. And these competitors need to put valuable points on their dogs to have any chance for the Dog of the Year prize. Region 2 is one of the most competitive bird dog circuit regions in the country. And RJ and Blaze not only need to beat out top competitors Craig Steinbach and Bernie Birkenholtz, but they also need to beat out newcomers like Zach Foss. The toughest competition that we have is Blaze, run by RJ, and Puckett, run by Bernie Birkenholtz. Last year we had to compete with Blaze the whole season to see who made it to the Dog of the Year, and it's going to be the same again this year, I think. If the RJ and yeah. Blaze team can outperform these guys, they still need to beat Region 5's best coming in from the West Coast. One of RJ's biggest challengers in the bird dog circuit is Region 5 competitor Gary Boomer Busboom from Fallon, Nevada. Boomer, as they call him, is the bird dog circuit top dog of the year defending champion with Patch. I'm a farmer here in, in what is known as the Lahontan Valley. Been farming for about 40 years now. We're into cattle and, and farm ground. We've always had hunting dogs since you know I was a little kid. Every one of our dogs, they come and go in and out of our house. They stay in our house, they sleep in our house, they eat in our house. They're babies with fur is all they are. My wife does the groundwork with, with all of the dogs. She rides them on her four-wheeler you know, every day. She does everything that leads up to a bird dog before he gets out to the field. To me, you get so much more enjoyment if you take something and raise it yourself or, or train it yourself and be able to beat the high dollar people that just get their animals just professionally trained. Somebody has to take on the underdog. So we've gotten several rescue dogs over the years that I compete with. We rescue dogs because there's so many good dogs that are out there. Every dog deserves to have a home, have a job to do. A few years ago when they knew I was, all of my dogs were rescue dogs or from a pound, they all thought, ah, oh, that ain't gonna work. Last year with Patch winning dog of the year, that Boy. hopefully opened some eyes up. My dogs are on top or at the top with any of them. And I can compete with any of them. When we come back, RJ and Blaze are ready to go. Can they put up a golden run good enough to make it to the finals? Bird Dog Wars is presented by Electronic Shooters Protection, Loyal Dog Food, Garmin, CZ USA, and Dogs Unlimited and Thunderstick Lodge. Back at Traxler's Hunt Club in La Center, Minnesota, 
things are heating up at the Trigger Time major event. Blaze, are you ready? Now it's go time. I know Puckett is in my bracket, so that's gonna be a tough dog to beat, and there are several others. We got a lot of work to do. You know, you're out in that field, and you have wild birds, and you've got a dog. Anything can happen. All right. Two miles away in his field, Craig Steinbach is in the blind with Joey. They know the importance of having a good run today. Joey needs to be ready. <laughs> He's looking like he's sleeping, but once I blow that whistle, I know the stuff will fly behind him. He's in a big points race against Scott LaPlante and Rick Lutz, so region one is a tight race, so I'm hoping to do good. Whoa. Here. Heel. 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 Good boy. Look at that. That bird is right on his back foot. Blaze here! Good boy. Okay, where is it? Whoa. Heel, Blaze. Okay. Got a nose on you. Use it. Oi! Blaze here! Blaze here! Come on, come on! Here, here! Time! Fourth bird at 608. Good boy. Anytime you walk out of the field and your dog does good, it's a good feeling. With Blaze putting up a good score in his morning run, all tournament hunters at this event know what score they have to beat. Word gets out quickly that Blaze is in the lead. In Region 2, RJ Tooney's dog Blaze uh, was last year's Dog of the Year finalist. He is really starting to come on. We're getting to the meat and potatoes of our tournament season right now, and, and so I think, you know, especially these go, go, region go. competitions are going to get really, really tight and fun to watch. In the bird dog circuit, tournament hunters sit in a blind called the field staging area. They wait there patiently with their dog. They cannot watch the run before them, nor can they see anything that is happening in the field. Yeah, you bet I'm nervous. I mean, if you're not, uh, you just uh, you shouldn't be here, I guess. I don't know. It, I'm shaking, I'm a little jittery here. Zach Foss knows the importance of staying calm in the blind. Zach has a very important run today with his dog. I'm not really sure what's going on, what the time to beat is or anything. I just know I got to go out there, get my four birds as quickly as I can, and. Hopefully it's good, fast enough to come on, come on, come make on, it come to the finals. Time! Last week, we saw Bernie Birkenholtz and Puckett struggle with their training run. A double shot sent Bernie out to the Ooh. shooting range to sharpen up his skills. So we just did a practice run. Dog danced around a little bit on point, which he shouldn't. He just, he's rusty, he ain't been out all summer. Whoa, whoa! With RJ putting up a good run, it is even more critical for Bernie and Puckett to do well today, or they could go home empty-handed. Come on, find them. Point. Come on. First bird. Point. Things are heating up at the Trigger Time major event. Across the hunt club is Boomer and Patch. Whoa. They need a good score to make the finals. Patch is in the hunt yet too, so he's right in there. We have to do good here today to get him into the finals for tomorrow. Patch, come! Back at Bernie's field, he's looking for his last and final bird with Puckett. He desperately needs to find this bird to stop the clock. Come on, get out here. You already lost it. Point. Good point. Time. Fourth bird at 708. 
Looks like I ain't getting no points this weekend, no. RJ, he'll probably gain some now. I'll be chasing for the rest of the year. Back at Traxler's Lodge, event coordinator Carla Haglin Turnquist tallies the scores for all competitors to see. It is clear by the results that Bernie and Puckett did not make the finals. I had them sweating, but I didn't come through with it. It'll be a long ride home for Bernie. Earlier, we watched as RJ Tooney and Blaze put up a good enough run to make the finals. And we also saw Bernie Birkenholtz and Puckett leave the event early. Today is finals day at the Trigger Time major event. As you can see, this parking lot is a lot emptier than it was a day or two ago. Unfortunately for Bernie, he did not make the runoff. Um, the one we're scared about, though, is going to be Blaze. I know that dog's on fire and ready to go, so um, he's definitely going to be a big hurdle to overcome here today. Everything is on the line for these finals pointing dogs. Winning or losing those points is critical to their season. In the blind for the first finals run of the day is Boomer Bus Boom and Patch from Fallon, Nevada. Go, go, go. They'll need to set the pace as all the competitors behind them will what? try to beat their score. My game plan in my head leaving the starting line was Point. to get my gate bird one, or one side or the other and then I was gonna head right. Safety, safety, Patch here, Patch here, come. Go, go, go. 48 seconds. Patch unfortunately went left. He got a he got a middle left bird. Touch him up, bud. Come. Go, go, go. 159. And then I'm caught in the middle. Do I want to bring him back to the right or let him roll to the end? I went ahead and let him go to the back. He locked up on that bird back there. I thought, well, we gotta check the back right now. Go out back there and I spent. Probably a good minute looking for a bird in that back right. As soon as he go, didn't go, win go. nothing, brought him back up to the center right, and that's where the bird was at. Point. Time. Whoa. If I would have stuck with my game plan to start with, we'd be a lot happier right now. But no, I'm pleased. <laughs> Next up is R.J. Tooney and Blaze from De Pere, Wisconsin. R.J. has trained with Blaze intensely the entire off-season. All they need to do now is find their birds faster than any other dog, shoot each bird cleanly, Point. and take home the trophy with the 20 valuable champion points there. they need. One down, three more to go. Come on, Blaze. Yesterday, we qualified in this field, so Blaze knows it just as well as I do. And if anybody thinks a dog forgets how to run a field after they've been in it once or twice, they're wrong. Point! Whoa. Two down. Point! There he is. Hang on, if I don't get those points, I'm out. Blaze is out. Blaze. Just as I shot, the wind caught the bird and it was gone. It's heartbreaking. I feel like I've been punched in the gut. It's just, I'm disappointed. Tough break for RJ. I think that he was banking on that bird catching the wind and going left, but that bird did not. It flew straight up out of the grass, caught the wind, and bucked the wind and went to his right. Here's what I see. RJ should have taken one more step to his right to allow himself the range of motion in his body to make the shot as the bird bucked the wind, slowly went away from him. Another thing was, give it a little bit more time. If he had given it another 10, 15 feet, at least his pattern would have opened up a little bit more. He was shooting a tennis ball sized pattern at that bird that was inside 10 yards. That's a tough break for RJ and Blaze. They really needed that bird. I'm Dave Miller. Remember, shoot safe, shoot often, and shoot a CZ. RJ and Blaze feel firsthand the sting of defeat.
Scott LaPlante and Lincoln from Region 1 are in the field for their finals run. It's not going as they had hoped. Stay. A missed shot in the bird dog circuit will cripple your chances to win. That's your buddy! That's your buddy! I'm a little bummed out here, that we here, didn't do here. is uh, didn't get them all. I wanted just getting a get a clean run. That's always kind of helps you out a little bit. When we come back, tournament favorite Craig Steinbach and Joey take a run at the title. Can they knock out Boomer and Patch? and send everyone else stumbling down the leaderboard? Stay tuned for more action from Bird Dog Wars. Bird Dog Wars is presented by Electronic Shooters Protection, Loyal Dog Food, Garmin, CZ USA, and Dogs Unlimited and Thunderstick Lodge. We're at the Bird Dog Circuit Trigger Time Major Championship. Dogs from New York to Nevada have descended on Traxler's Hunt Club. They've come for one reason, and that's to win this event. Winners take home the valuable points they need and punch their ticket into the end of the season Dog of the Year Finals. With only two runs remaining in the finals, let's look at the leaderboard to see where things stand. Boomer and Patch started the day with an excellent run, and later we watched RJ shoot Blaze out of contention. That leaves the door wide open for Region 2 tournament legend, Craig Steinbach and Joey. Also making the finals is relative newcomer from Region 2, Zach Foss and Lincoln. It's Midwest Region 2 versus the Western Region 5. This dog actually is coming into this tournament, I believe, a few points behind. So if we can get this dog on top, it is gonna help a lot. Point. Nice shot. 102. Point! Shot Stein! Here. All right, Joey. 255! With this wind Why? and the way it's drying out, it can be tough. It's tough for all the dogs, no matter what you do to I see condition and get ready for something like this. Shoot. Right there, Joey, right there! Right there, buddy! Come on, Jomeo! All right, let's go. 418. Stick him, Joe. Point. Yeah. Time, Raj. Joey, Joey. I don't want to be arrogant or cocky or whatever they say, but this dog, when he's got it going on, he's got her going on. He's just a nice dog to be around. With the Trigger Time Major Championship coming to a conclusion in the Pointer Division, only one team remains. Zach Foss and Lincoln are the only competitors with a shot to steal the points and trophy from Steinbach. And they desperately need this win. Zach knows those top 20 champion points will help them move on competitively with their season. If we don't place and get some points at this tournament, it makes for a very long ride home. It's no fun going home empty-handed. Point. Whoa. Good boy, let's go. 46 seconds. Point. Shot. Come on, bud, right here. 145. Point. Here, Link. Stop it. 314. Lincoln, it's Bella's brother. He's a great dog just like she is, but he just hasn't quite been able to put it all together. And 
win as much as she has, so Point. it feels really good to have a good run and come off the field with all the birds and know that I hopefully should be sitting pretty well. Come on, Link. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Ready, ready. Time. Whoa. I call that a smoker. Best run I've had all weekend, I think. With the Trigger Time Major Championship in the books, competitors now move on to the World Championships. World Championships is a 50-point tournament. So whenever you go into there, you're hoping to have a little cushion on points because uh, you can fall behind real quick. Next week, Bird Dog Wars returns to the Trigger Time Major Event for the Flushing Division Championships. With the Flushing Division points race heating up, we'll introduce the top Flushing teams in the nation battling it out on Bird Dog Wars. Well, we just finished running Lincoln and found out we took first place, and it's a great feeling. Probably one of the best feelings I've had running tournaments. It makes it even better knowing that we beat some of the best dogs out there and some of the best players, including Craig Steinbach. And so we're just very happy and had a great weekend.